All our plumbing is accessible. So all the water runs are behind these walls right here. So if you were to have a leak in one of these pipes, you just pull up the top, pull up the middle, and all your piping is accessible. This is near typical Miami home. It's elevated for the floods that haven't hit yet, wrapped in natural materials, and designed to be taken apart, not torn down. This house by architect Caplo Manzano might just be a living blueprint for the future of sustainable living. The back panels come out so you can get to the backs of everything and see if you had a leak. You don't have to rip out your kitchen in order to do that. It's just about taking out panels. We did this to prevent building out drywalls and building out unnecessary spaces in your house. This is solid concrete filled with perlite. So your insulation is inside the concrete rather than building out lots and lots of layers that are vulnerable to moisture. How about the performance metrics? The energy bills are really low. This house has a full solar panel system, battery backups. There's windows throughout on every side of the house. And really the natural light coming in, the breeze coming in because you're elevated above everything. We talked about the elevation for flood. It creates this extensive backyard here where you get this beautiful outdoor living space that's covered, additional kitchen for you downstairs. There's a full bathroom, so it really allows you to enjoy South Florida life. This water heater acts as an air conditioning unit. So as it heats the water and stores it, the heating process releases cold air and cools this space, that acre ceiling. So this, although it looks like wood, is recycled rice hull. So after the rice is harvested, they take those holes, create this beautiful product that mimics wood, but is fully sustainable, great for the environment. We're the first house in the world to be well certified. So really thinking about occupant health in terms of materiality.